ఈవెన్ మై సెల్ఫ్ రాహుల్ సావన్ థర్డ్ ఇయర్ రెడియోలజీ రెసిడెంట్ అట్ సెట్ జిఎస్ మెడికల్ కాలేజ్ అండ్ కేఎం హాస్పిటల్ ముంబై అండ్ మై టాపిక్ ఫర్ పేపర్ ప్రజెంటేషన్ ఈజ్ అర్ధన్ చెస్టర్ డిసీజ్ అ కేస్ రిపోర్ట్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ అర్ధన్ చెస్టర్ డిసీజ్ ఈజ్ అ రేర్ నాన్ నాన్ లాంగర్ హన్స్ హిస్టోసైటిక్ డిసార్డర్ విత్ మల్టీ సిస్టమ్ ఇన్వాల్వ్మెంట్ ఇట్స్ పిక్ ఇన్సిడెన్స్ ఇన్ ద ఫిఫ్ టు సిక్స్ డికెట్స్ ఆఫ్ లైఫ్ అండ్ ఇస్ స్లైట్లీ మోర్ కామన్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఆల్ ద చిల్డ్రన్ క్యాన్ బి అఫెక్టెడ్ ద ఇటియో ప్యాథోజెనిస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ డిసీజ్ ఈజ్ అన్క్లియర్ and it, it is postulated that the adhan chester disease could arise due to the immune mediated phenomena resulting from the exaggerated proliferation of helper t cells resulting in the release of pro inflammatory cytokines like interferons that further leads to the recruitment and activation of the mast cells at the site of involvement adhan chester disease usually presents with non specific symptoms often the symptoms depends on the site of involvement and the common constitutional symptoms of the adhan chester disease are like fever weight loss night sweats could be mistaken for the tuberculosis most common presenting symptom is the bone pain as the skeletal system is the most com- often affected and the classical triad of adhan chester disease includes the bone pain central diabetes insipidus and bilateral exothermus clinical radiological and light microscopic findings are usually uh, similar and indistinguishable from the uh, langer cell histocytosis histopathologically in adhan chester disease the tissue is infiltrated with the lipid laden histocytes adhan chester disease can be distinguished from the uh, langer cell langer hans cells histocytosis by the demonstration of cd68 positivity in such xanthogranular matter histocytic fil- infiltrates with the lack of cd1a and uh, birbeck granules a case a 50 year old woman came with complaint of decrease in vision in both eyes which was incidence in onset gradually progressed over 6 months it is associated with mild to moderate headache patient also complains of non specific pain in both knees for the past 2 uh, to 3 years for which never got investigated c is not known case of uh, chronic illness and her family history was uneventful for above complaints the patient was referred to ophthalmologist on examination there was a proptosis of both eyes with decreased visual acuity not associated with the congestion or painful restriction of movement based on the above findings ophthalmologist advised mri brain and mri brain plain plus contrast was done which shows uh, t1 hypo intense uh, homogeneously enhancing t1 Uh, T1 hypointense, T2 isointense, homogeneously enhancing lesion in the cellular and supracellular uh, region, uh, compressing the pituitary against the cella. The lesion is seen uh, in, involving both the cavernous sinuses with encasement of uh, supraclinoid and cavernous segment of both the ICA. The, uh, posteriorly the lesion lesion is seen extending into the clivus and the prepontine cistern causing encasement of the basilar top anteriorly the lesion is seen uh, extending into superior and medial extend intraconal compartment of the both the orbits through the superior orbital fissure superiorly the lesion is seen compressing the optic no and chasma optic chasma the patient is further investigated and the cct chest and abdomen was done which shows the homogeneously enhancing soft tissue encasing the outer till its bifurcation till its bifurcation giving a coated outer appearance with loss of fat plane without a core homogeneously enhancing soft tissue which surrounding round glassing is seen in the mesentery involving the mesenteric root and encasing the superior and inferior mesenteric artery origin and its branches encasement of the left renal vein is also seen mm, x ray bilateral knee was done uh, which shows uh, multiple tiny varying size sclerotic foci in the proximal epiphysis and metaphysis of both tibia and also in the metaphysis of distal end of humor no histopathological histopathology uh, with immunochemistry findings the specimen biopsy was taken from uh, the cellular region uh, on gross examination the grayish white soft tissue is there and the microscopy the lesion composed of sheets of foamy xanthomatous cells interface with the occasional multinucleated tutorial like giant cell admix small aggregates of reactive lymph node lymphocytes no mitosis identified uh, langerhans cell histocytosis versus uh, adhan chester disease was suspected the immunochemistry uh, uh, 
uh, finding suggest of uh, CD68 and CD163 positive. CD1 and S100 negative. Above findings are suggest of non-Langerhans cell histocytosis. The diagnosis, final diagnosis was made, earthen chest disease. Uh, discussion earthen chest disease is, is a rare disease first reported in 1930 it is a rare form of non langerhans cell histocytosis the pathogenesis of disease is infiltration of multisystemic organs and the bones by foamy macrophages multinucleated giant cell and inflammatory cells most commonly affecting the fifth decade which slightly common in males presenting symptoms are non specific most uh, common in all system is the skeletal system and the radiological findings are the um, Bilateral symmetrical metaphyseal and diaphyseal sclerotic lesion in skeletal system and the cortical thickening. Intracranial involvement, the extra axial so enhancing soft tissue may mimic the meningioma in some cases. Pituitary and infl inf infundibular involvement is common, presenting with diabetes insipidus. Intraparenchymal involvement is non specific. Orbital involvement, the retroorbital masses causing proptosis and motility impairment. The soft tissue can extend along the optic nerve, causing optic nerve edema. Kidneys and retroperitoneum, irregular and symmetric involvement of bilateral perirenal and posterior perineal space giving hairy kidney appearance. Periaortic soft tissue giving coated aorta sign. Inferior vena cava and ureters are typically spared, which helps in differentiating it from the retroperitoneal fibrosis. And in chest, the symmetric reticular interstitial opacities and smooth interlobular septal thickening, and pleural effusions, multifocal ground glass opacities, and pericardial thickening with effusion is seen. Uh, differential diagnosis include the depending on the involvement of systems which system depending on the system involved the first is IgG4 a related multisystemic infiltration is the closest differential Langerhans cell histocytosis is in bone and chest involvement and the retroperitoneal fibrosis and lymphoma in retroperitoneal involvement these are the references thank you